In the last lab walkthrough, we installed a virtual appliance on VMware ESXi. In this lab walkthrough, we're going to actually take a look at that VA and also configure the VA in our environment. So this is the VA up and running. We can see that it's not configured. We have no IP address or gateway configured. We can also see that uh, it's, it's saying that this DNS server is okay. Local DNS servers are unconfigured and it can't reach the umbrella DNS at the moment. So we actually need to configure this and get this ready for our environment. So we can see at the bottom here, we've got a few items that we can do. So we have a system menu, we've got support tunnel, and we also have configuration. So if we just start by saying control and S, this is the system menu. If we control B, this is where we're actually going to configure everything. So it's just basically telling us now that we're going to enable configuration mode and the default password for this VA is the umbrella organization ID, which is leading on from the umbrella, which I mentioned in the last lab. And it's just telling us where we can find the umbrella org ID as well. So we'll say yes, we want to continue with this. And now it's going to ask us for that password. So I'm going to type in this password now for my VA. There we go. And once we enter our default password, we are going to be asked to change that password. So I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead now and change this password. There we go. So now I need to enter the same password again. And now I can enter the new password. There we go. So that's the password change for our VA now. And what we're going to do now is actually configure this. So we'll type config. And you can see that we have a few options that we can configure. So we're not going to focus on the tunnel configuration or the SMP configuration or the uh, any cast configurations. We'll focus specifically on this lab walkthrough on the VA and we'll also take a look at the uh, local DNS as well. And if we just type config VA and help, we get a list of parameters that we can configure. So we'll start with the interface, config VA. Let's do config VA interface and we'll give it an IP address of 151.7.208 followed by submit mask and default gateway as well. That? Okay, so now that's telling us that the interface is configured on the VA. So to test that, let's just get access via SSH and we can continue the configuration and hopefully see a little bit better. So to do that, we need to enable SSH. So we'll do config via SSH enable. And now we can see SSH access has been enabled. So let's just try and open put in our connect to this. There we go. And if we just log in and we log in as VM admin and our newly created password that we configured, now you can see that we have successfully logged in here. So I'll just make this a little bit bigger so that we can continue with the configuration now. And if we just do config via status, we can see that AD connectors unknown because we've not configured that. Local DNS servers are not configured yet, so we need to uh, do that as well. We can see now that Umbrella Cloud SSL is okay, as well as the DNS servers for Umbrella as well, which is good. 
So what we need to do now is we'll configure a name for the VA as well. So we'll do config VA name, and then we'll give this a name. So we call this VA003. So we can see that our name has been changed now from the IP address to the actual name that we've just specified. And now what we'll do is we'll configure the local DNS. So if we just do config local DNS and help, we can see we have a few options here. So we can add a new local DNS server and map the domains. We can delete a local DNS server, which we won't do because we don't have any configured yet. And we can also show the current local DNS servers as well. Um, we can also, in terms of the adding the server, we can specify the IP address. So it can either be IPv4, IPv6 uh, addresses, and we can also list um, those internal domains as well. So what we'll do is we'll just quickly show config local DNS show just to show that we don't have any local DNS servers configured. So what we'll do is we'll config local DNS and I'm just going to add an IPv4 address uh, for one of my local servers here. I need to say add. So that should be enough. So you can see now that that one's successfully added. So now if I just up arrow two, you can see that I've got local DNS server configured and you can also see I've got a bunch of domains configured in the dash dashboard as well, which are now going to be passed down to um, this VA as well. So now if we just return back to our actual instance in VMware, you can see now the status has changed. So we can see that we've now got an IP address. We've got the, the gateway that we've configured. We can see that the services are running and green to say that they're successful. So we've got the forward and the synchronization. We've got our local DNS server configured here. We can also see that we've got three domains that have been passed down. And we can also see with regards to connectivity that all DNS servers are okay. Local DNS servers are okay. And uh, which means we've kind of got that reachability there with the uh, internal DNS servers. And then we can also see we've got that reachability with the umbrella DNS servers as well. The one where it says AD connector unknown, that's because we've not configured any AD connector yet. That's something we'll look at in upcoming lessons. And we didn't do anything with uh, support tunnels in this instance either. If we navigate to our umbrella dashboard, we can now see that we have three virtual appliances configured. So where we had two already previously configured, we now have three. So now if I click on this, you can see the name which will be updated and changed because we did change that name in the configuration we can see the internal ip address that we assigned we can see that we haven't assigned it to a site yet but we can do that and we will do that we can see that the type is a virtual appliance and we can see that the status is imported 10 minutes ago but the va is not redundant within its site, two, AVs, uh, two VAs required per site. Now that will change because I have got this configured in, as you can see with the IP addressing in the same site in the virtual environment. So that will change. And what I'll actually do now is I'll just assign this to that, that particular site there. So if we just press save now, that site should change. There you go. And that, lastly, we can see the VA version as well. So we'll just give this some time to update, but in our next video, you'll probably see the status is changed to green. So that's how we can configure VAs in our environment. Now all we need to do is ensure that our devices are pointing to the IP address of the VA so that the VA can distribute those DNS requests locally or either via umbrella. And we'll also be able to now get that additional reporting in
our umbrella reports as well. So that's it. Join me in the next video where we'll take a look at how we can configure a device to point to the VA for DNS requests. And we'll also take a look at the reports and what sort of information we get in the umbrella dashboard as well.